Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 889. And the topic today is about um, dating through the holidays and the Hallmark movie fantasy. <laughs> Before I expose that and express that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks every day and why you might want to watch. My name is Barry Selby. I am an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, spiritual guide, author of the best selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover and also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I help women create balance in love, life and business because of this and also what inspired these talks almost three years ago now called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Hearts. And today we're episode number 889. And the topic today is um, dating during the holidays. It might not be a Hallmark movie. Now, you may never have seen a Hallmark movie, but a lot of people have. So I'll basically put it in this framework first. Hallmark movies are the happily ever after of the Prince Charming, Dantle in Distress type thematic contextualized into modern day environments. It's still a fairy tale though. And in fact, some of the Hallmark movies, not that I've seen many of them, just to be clear, from what I've read and what I've heard from friends, are extremely fairy tale based. The problem with that or the challenge with that is, is that some people look at relationships and romance the same way. Like if it can happen there, it can happen here. No. <laughs> in fact, the challenging thing is when you start looking at falling in love over the holidays, and for some people, maybe not you, they come to the holiday this time of year feeling somewhat alone and lonely and wanting to find someone to be with just to get through the holidays. It's almost like they want to find a warm body to be with through the holidays. On one level, that's okay. Not recommended though. And I when I was younger, that may be what I was thinking. So I've grown out of that stage. The reason I'm thinking about this is, by the way, is because I've just um, announced and launched and preparing my new course, which is Thriving Through the Holidays. And I'll tell you about that later on. But the thing I'm aware of with so many, so many people is there's a couple of things on the um, on the pressure plate. That's not what I'm looking for. A couple of items that could be sitting out that could be challenging. For example, um, one of these places of pressure or stress is when you go home for Thanksgiving and you're still single and you're sitting down at the dining table with the family and relatives and other people and they're looking at you like, when are you going to get married? When are you going to meet somebody? When are you going to find that perfect person? And I've known in times past where people, and I'm not sure, I'm trying to think if I've done this myself, maybe be clear, where they basically found somebody to go home with to appease their parents, to appease the family, to appease those that are judging them because they don't have a partner. That's not a way of doing things. And it's certainly not the way to have a healthy relationship. The other side of that is, is that some people look at the holidays as being a time when being alone is horrible. They'll be fact, they're looking at the holidays and I'm using the word they because I'm not saying men or female, male or female, and I'm not talking about you necessarily, unless this resonates for you. Where they look at the holidays with such fear about being alone, about being that fifth wheel when their friends are getting together, they're not, not, sure, they're not even sure what they want to do with it. So holidays can be a very challenging time for people. And I understand that feeling. In fact, one of the things I talk about in my work about when you learn to love yourself, you don't feel so as alone as you did. And the problem is, frankly, the holidays are the most, um, uh, what's the one? It's like they, they emphasize the feeling of loneliness. Like if you have feelings of being lonely when you're not with somebody, the holidays don't make it easier. Clear? And Thanksgiving especially, because when you go to see family, and this, I'm, talking about, I'm speaking now about United States because I know Canada already had theirs, and where I'm from, we don't have Thanksgiving, so it's not relevant there. But the holiday season is when you go home to see family oftentimes. And if you're alone, it can be sometimes the most um, distressing time. Because being around your family when you don't have a partner can feel pretty bad. And being around your family when you just grab something to be with can be very challenging too. So doing that isn't a good idea. I'll give you a third option in a moment. So the idea of my finding someone to fall in love with over the holidays because it's the romantic time of year, you know, it's cold and fireplaces burning and it's a good time to snuggle up and be close. Not in LA, I know, because <laughs> in LA we don't have that sort of weather. But back east or in other places where the climate's cooler, or up north, sometimes the idea of meeting somebody where you can actually, someone you can be cozy with and happy with and intimate with can feel like a wonderful fairy tale. And once in a while it can be, but oftentimes the price is too high because oftentimes you're looking at love through a very, very, very thick rose tinted glasses, spectacles as I would call them, versus seeing the reality. 
So the choice of dating someone just for the holidays isn't always recommended. In fact, I wouldn't recommend it at all, to be honest. Now, there's some things I recommend instead and recommend as well as to do things differently. And I've talked about this stuff in other talks, so you can review my other 880 talks if you want to get through all of the, the stuff I've talked about. But one of the key elements about this is learning to really understand that your relationship choices aren't just predicated on circumstance or environment. In fact, your relationship choices are actually based upon what you're thinking or feeling and believing inside. Now, I'm not going to go down the whole path of this one because I talked about it recently, about two or three broadcasts ago. But the truth is, when we're looking for love, we look through a lens and a filter that isn't based upon reality. It's based upon history. And that's not a good way to look at things. So I'm actually going to cover three different components here, which are the three keys I talk about in my relationship teachings. Which is one, you've got to know what you, is, is first of all, you've got to be clear about what you're looking for, not just somebody to keep you warm during the winter, but somebody you really want to have in a relationship. Secondly, you also don't want to look for, look for, go looking for a plate, looking for somebody. I'm going to try and say this in English. It's different. To, you um, <laughs> rewind that just a little bit. Okay. So, <clears throat> cap that. Having a clear picture of what you want, a clear image, a clear impression, a clear understanding of what you want in a relationship, is absolutely fundamental to have the relationship you really want. And just to find somebody convenient for the, for the holiday season isn't recommended. That's one. Secondly, being clear that what you're looking for love and looking for them to make you feel happy is also a trap, a dead end, a poor choice. The reality is when you love yourself first is the only way to find a healthy relationship. I'm adamant about this, I'm passionate about this, and I speak about this a lot. And I'm gonna put some links in the comments to give you the to give you the things that will help you change this situation. So that's two. So clear about what you want, not what you think is convenient. Two, don't look out there for the person to love you. Love yourself first so you can be in a place to attract the relationship you really want. And third, and the most profound, most painful, most upsetting piece, yes, I'm gonna talk about this, is that history that you run is your choice point, meaning that the lens you look through isn't what you're looking for, it's looking at what you're looking from. And the problem is, you don't control what you're looking from. It's what you've actually installed in your history. It's your past practice, experience, and limitation. It's a trap, to be blunt. It's a handicap, no way of putting it. And I mean it from the point of view that you're tying your hands together and not letting yourself have what you want, that sort of handicap. So it's important, as the third piece of the puzzle, to really get clear about what it is you're still running your history and to undo it so you can be free to choose what you really want. So the three components I'm talking about are the keys to what I teach in my coaching in all sorts of areas. And I do have from offerings and things I recommend that will help you all three areas. One that helps all those areas is coaching, which is why I recommend my coaching services because it's not just about let me help you get from A to B, it's about what's stopping you getting from A in the first place and how you can own your space as well. But I also have a few offerings that I'm going to mention here because I'll be putting the links in the comments so you can check them out. So I'll put links so you can have a chat with me about, about what is in the way for you to relationships so you can have what you really want. That's the first thing, which is coaching. The second part is um, I did mention that I'm talking about the holidays here because the truth is for many of us, the holidays are a challenging time of year to be alone. One of those reasons is because we forget that we are enough as we are. And so we keep putting this pressure on ourselves because we're not with somebody. But when you love yourself first, and again, I keep talking about this, and I've been adamant as I'm saying, when you do love yourself first, you don't have that feeling anymore. When you're filled up from internally, yes, it's nice to be around other people, but it's not required for you to be okay. If you're driven by the mindset that when I'm around other people, I feel better, there may be something missing inside your own heart, which is loving yourself. So there'll be a link in the comments for my self-love meditation, because that will help you really change that paradigm once and for all. Also, as I mentioned, you've got to be clear what you want. Just to meet somebody convenient, to bump into somebody, go, they'll do. And I have friends of mine who do that. That's what their dating life is like. I'm not going to mention any names. Sorry, I, I just flashed on somebody. I'm not going to talk about them. <laughs> I do have confidentiality even about my friends who aren't my clients. Um, so understanding what you want is key. I mean, I created a course for the women called Attract the Man You Want. It works and it's designed for that purpose. So I'll put a link in the comments for that too, just so you can check it out. But also because this is a challenging time here for a lot of people, you may have noticed the Christmas decorations are going up, and yes, the Hallmark holiday movies are showing up as well, you might start feeling a little bit depressed versus happy. 
we're seeing the decorations going oh it's wonderful it's great it's beautiful it's pretty you might be going oh shoot I've got to go home and see family I don't have anybody to be with or I've got to go see family and all that stuff from childhood is going to show up again or you're going to go home or you're not going to go home you're going to feel stressed out and worried you're going to stay home and be upset I don't recommend any of those well, I do invite you to check out though I do have a new course called Thriving Through the Holidays which I'll put a link in the comments for that as well because frankly if you're not thriving through the holidays why bother so I'm raising this is a very pitch heavy video but I want to make sure you get these things in your mind because we're getting closer to the holidays and in fact the course I'm launching starts in starts on 15th of November which is only eight days away seven days away eight days away so I'm inviting you to join me in it. I'm actually going to be on a, an interview tomorrow where a lot of people are going to join the course I know so I want to make sure you get first dibs to get in if you want to do it now um, and I did say if you join now I did put on the page that if you do join my, my um, uh, Thriving Through the Holidays course I will include as my gift to you my self-love meditation which will also be in the comments but I'll give you that as a gift included with it so you have to get one versus two unless you want to pay for two you don't have to so really what I want to get clear to you understand what I want to get clear for you to so understand this is that Hallmark movies are a fantasy the stuff you face when you go home isn't required to be stressed over and that you can have what you want in a relationship once and for all when you really get clear about what you want you have the choice every time to choose yourself first which I recommend personally and choosing your heart first choosing your trust first choosing your love first so you can have what you want in life have what you want in love and have you what you want in the holidays it sounds simplistic I know but sometimes I've got to be blunt about this stuff um, and frankly it's why I keep these doing these talks every day is to say do you realize there's more to life than this there's more to love than this there's more to joy in this and especially around the holidays it can be challenging so the links will be in the comments as I mentioned the four things I meant four things I mentioned chat self-love track the man you want thrive through holidays yes they'll be in the comments you can check them all out any one of those will help you all of them will definitely help you if you coach with me I may gift you all of them we'll see but uh, you have to reach out to me for that one um, I feel in a generous mood so you know I'll offer that stuff up this is my daily Facebook live this one's kind of just been a rant and, and a promotion so I understand that if you don't like that but that's why I do talks my talks have run the gamut from me too to um, men being dicks and all sorts of things in between actually those are kind of similar I have a range of talks so if you want to find my replays which I'll tell you about in a moment my daily talks happen here on my personal page on Facebook which is Barry Selby every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here right now if you want to see the replays you can find them on my business page on Facebook which is Barry Selby the author um, most of them are out there but Facebook doesn't show them all for some reason please like my page by the way and you can check them out there or if you want to see all my broadcasts you can go to my YouTube channel which is Barry Selby on YouTube so youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch the playlist on there called messages for the masculine all 888 plus this one 889 are there where you can watch every single one of them you can search for keywords you can browse peruse watch it to your heart's content I guarantee you, if you watch my broadcast your life will change for the better <laughs> so with that I thank you for watching I appreciate you being with me as always I do invite you to consider what I'm offering for yourself for your heart for your success in love and life again those four links will be in the comments and I thank you for watching as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.